On Tuesday, we'll learn how many acres of each crop the USDA believes farmers intend to plant this year. The agency's prospective plantings report is scheduled for release at 11 a.m. that morning. As farmers in Nebraska continue preparing for the planting season, we recently talked with Nebraska Extension agronomist Roger Elmore to learn more about certain recommendations. We started by asking Roger how important planting dates are for corn and soybeans. Well, they're critical. And, uh, and the earlier you plant in general, and I'll give you some specifics, uh, the more yield you get. So if you're interested in yield, you have to be interested in planting date. Let's start with corn. Why does it matter when you plant in corn? In corn, it uh, depends on where you are, of course, in, in the state. But in, in general, we should start thinking about the third week in April, maybe the fourth week in April. There are old reports that say that in, for every day in May, you lose a bushel. I, I, and you can find data that will tell you that. But in general, uh, once you get into late April, you look at soil temperatures, you look at how moist that soil is, and, and, and you plant. But in both cases, soybeans and corn, you want to look at the next week or 10 days of forecast. Are they conducive for early season uh, germination, seedling growth, and, and emergence? That's what you're interested in. What does the research show for soybeans of that ideal planting window? The, uh, for the southern two-thirds of Nebraska, it's the last week in April, first week in May. Um, but boy, you know, the worst thing you can do is look at that calendar date and mud things in, meaning that the soils are too wet. Um, and, and it's far better in those situations just to wait till things dry out. And, and there, there are some years that really the later you plant in May, the better yields are. And it all depends on the soil conditions at planting and what happens after planting. How dangerous are the frost risks that you might encounter? That's the issue with early uh, or late April planting and sometimes even early uh, May planting. But the advantage in both crops is we've got some built-in uh, uh, recovery techniques in corn. There's a growing point that's below ground until the six leaf stage. So in general, that, that, uh, that saves us if you get that top frozen off. On soybeans, every bud, uh, every bud above ground or every leaf has got one or two buds that can reproduce a plant. So we've got a lot of built-in resilience there. My experience on frost on hail and, and, and soybeans side by side, the soybeans really do a little better than corn, believe it or not. Uh, so, but you've got to get out there and evaluate it right after uh, three or four or five days after the frost. From your experience, would you recommend using a soybean seed treatment the earlier you go? Uh, Depending on, on the situation, usually not. Most of the data shows that it isn't a factor for early, early planting. But you've got to remember that what I'm suggesting for planting date is that you have warm soils and they're getting warmer. That's, that's the bottom line on soils. The time that seed treatments really do pay off is you're, if you're doing a replant, where you're coming in after a frost or a hail event, or for some reason have lost your stand, uh, replanting soybeans without treatment into a previous uh, previously planted crop is not a good deal. Is there a range that uh, producers should be looking at for soybean population? Certainly. Um, you know, in, in the old days we used to talk about a bushel an acre, you know, which would be 150,000 seeds per acre or so. The new research is very clear. Uh, you can plant that, it's not going to affect yield, but you can also plant 120,000 plants or seeds per acre and get the same yield. So you're saving 30 to 40,000 seeds per acre with the uh, with the seeding date a uh, rate of 120,000, and the seeding depth as farmers get ready to hit the fields uh, for for corn and soybeans both, uh, uh, soybeans so uh, inch and three quarters to two inches, and corn is almost identical. The important thing is to get uniformity in that seed depth, um, so you get uniform emergence. That's especially important in corn. We're looking for not only getting the right stand there in corn but we're also looking for emergence timing. Uh, ideally, every plant comes up at the same time. We should note the insurance implications for planting very early. For corn in the southeastern half of Nebraska, the initial planting date for crop insurance is April 10th. For the northwest portion, the initial planting date is April 15th. Most counties in Nebraska carry a date of April 25th for soybean planting. Risk management agency maps can be found online and through a link on the Market Journal website.